We have an exclusive new development in the investigation to find who killed a 71-year-old woman. Today, only 11 Alive was there when detectives found the victim's vehicle several miles away from where she was killed. And Ryan Kruger joins us now with the details of this investigation. So, Ryan, do police believe they're closing in on the suspect? Well, they certainly believe that the car was stolen by the killer. So whether the suspect lives at those apartments where the car was found or that's just where they dumped the car, that is not known this evening. Only our cameras were there at the Azalea Apartments on Chambly Dunwoody Way today when detectives found that 2012 Kia Sorento belonging to 71 year old Kay Thomason. Thomason was found by a relative Wednesday night. She had been stabbed to death in the back of the neck. The victim lived in Sandy Springs, but her car, as you're seeing in our video, was found in Chambly. Still no word on a motive or a suspect tonight, but the killer did steal Thomason's car and tonight police have it. When we realized that information, we immediately sent out a lookout on the vehicle to surrounding agencies. We put it on the system as a stolen car. So if anybody runs the tag, it'll come up as stolen and involved in a homicide. So take a look at this map. Now, the killer didn't travel too terribly far. The apartments you'll see there on the right, uh, those were only about four miles away from where the victim lived in Sandy Springs. Neighbors we spoke with had noticed the car there. They weren't familiar with the case. Investigators also went door to door asking neighbors if they saw anything. It's not police. It's not clear when police got this tip, but one neighbor told us investigators were actually working the scene starting late last night. We're working together new details for the investigation coming up tonight on the late feed. Faith. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. Seven